Hey there, I'm Lee Parkers from Educational Insights, and we're here at Toy Fair New York 2020, showing off all the latest toys. And I'm here with a robot called RD3000, and this is how we're inspiring kids not only to learn coding, but to get creative. And as you can see, RD is following the code that I create. So the code loads up here on any kind of Wi-Fi enabled device, and RD interprets the code into art. So what a great way to get kids inspired, to start coding, and learning the fundamentals of something that's such an important 21st century skill through something fun like a toy like RD3000 nominated for toy of the year this year which is so exciting and we're so proud of our little RD here at Educational Insights. We're inspiring kids to get creative, get coding, learn these really great skills, and have a great time. Artie not only is a creative coder, he's a, a smarty. Uh, Artie's an honorary Mensa member. We're working with the folks at Mensa America um, to create content and creativity for kids. And Artie speaks six different coding languages. So once kids figure out Blockly or Snap, they can go up to Python, maybe even JavaScript, so they can learn different languages. And for a price of $69 MSRP, Artie's a great way to get kids coding in affordability and inclusivity to make sure every kind of kid gets to learn how to code. So Artie is actually his own Wi-Fi enabled device. So Artie speaks directly to a tablet. We're not talking to anything else on the internet right now. It's a direct connection from tablet to Artie. And as you can see, what's green is what Artie is doing. So we're telling Artie right now to make a circle. This is the basic code for a circle. And we're seeing Artie turn 36 times by 10 degrees. So kids are learning math, they're learning geometry. All of this is a part of the coding experience. So from languages like Blockly, Snap, Python, JavaScript, kids can level up their coding skills and go from something that's super easy and you can get coding within five minutes to start coding something really advanced in a JavaScript code or some other advanced languages that kids can use learning Artie. I know this is made for kids and all that, but I mean, this is something I can use to learn code oh. myself. I've learned so much about coding through <laughs> RD3000, seriously, right, right. like the imagination that you can, I've really learned too that coding is a creative experience. Right. You have to think outside of the box, mm -hmm. you have to problem solve, it's a, it's a strategic thinking thing of too of like what can I create, right. coding it seems so technical and cold in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. but when you add something like art, it really warms it up, right? This right. is STEAM, right? right? It's science, technology, mm -hmm. engineering, art, math, all mm -hmm. these things combined into a little product like this. And for something for $69, it's an inclusive product too. There's a lot of robots on the market that are very expensive. Very, expen yeah. very yeah. expensive. That doesn't mean every kind of kid can get their hands on this kind of knowledge and, yeah. and fun. So we love the fact that Artie can speak so many languages, can teach kids so many different kinds of skills, right. and is affordable. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. And like like I said, like a, adults like myself who, who like to play with toys. That's right. Is there anything wrong with that? I can learn while I'm playing with toys now. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. That's and, right, Al. You know, um, I think it's, that, uh, it's a really cool piece. And stuff. Yeah, thank you. Know you know what? You, you mentioned Steam. Yep. Now, it's funny when it first came out, it was STEM, right? That's Am I right. Correct? Now it's STEAM. Well, we said. So, so, what happened to that? What's the evolution of STEM? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, so. Science, technology, engineering, and math, math is the right. core of STEAM, STEAM of right. STEM, right? STEM, right? And then we said, well, what about how can we integrate the arts into that? Okay. How can we include creativity from science or technology, engineering, or math? Mm -hmm. Which I think is is such a, a clever way to include kids in something that's creative and a little bit more fun right. is including the arts element. Right. It's genius. Right, so that's what the A is. That's right. For STEAM. <laughs> that's right. Arts, okay? That's right. That's why they did it. That's right. And that's what this is right here. That's this is, already. It's an art piece, it's it's it's, it's math, it's engineering, that's it's all right. that good stuff right there in that piece right there. Artie 3000. Yep. Okay, Don't no relation to Andre 3000 from Outcast. <laughs> Artie 3000. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm Lee Parkers from Educational Insights with Artie 3000. And thanks to Sugar Cane for coming through to Toy Fair 2020. We're here in New York and we'll see you next time. Back to you, Billy. Yeah! yeah. <laughs>